Welcome back to another episode of the Hip Hop Slam Battle Rap Podcast. I am your host, Motto. Got to be back on the podcast. Before we get into anything, before we get into all this battle rap news that's going on, gotta let you go. Gotta let you guys know about my sponsor. This episode is being brought to you by Stash Me Clothing. Please go to stashme.net, use the promo code Stash Slam, and get 10% off your entire order. Again, the website is stashme.net. The promo code is Stash Slime. I have everything in the description, in the description, um, so you can take care of our sponsor. Now, let's get into this battle rap, man. Let's get into this battle rap. Let's get into the news. I want to break down some of the cards. Uh, I want to talk about some other stuff, but let's get into the cards. Um, first, first things first, right? Calico versus Hitman Holla has been announced. Looks like it's going to be the main event for a Max Out 2 event for RBE. Max Out 2. They just had Max Out 1, which features Hitman Holla versus Cassidy. Uh, we talking about, I think, after a month, we talking about 4 million views. I mean, something that's crazy, right? Um, In just a month. So, shout out to RBE for that. Calico versus Hitman. Seemed to be some tension there. Seemed to be some animosity there. Seemed to be like a reason to, for a battle. Even though this is definitely a grudge match because they battled on the Gladiator School event like back in like 2018. So, we'll see what happens with that. Also, Queen of the Ring just announced KCJ versus 40 Bars, um, 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 which looks like it's going to be the main event for that Heir to the Throne event, which uh, looks like it's going to be on Caffeine. So URL, Queen of the Ring, uh, Caffeine, putting another event together. Uh, and this one's going to be KCJ versus 40 Bars, Heir to the Throne. Yeah, so that's going to be dope as well because a lot of people are trying to see like, who's the who's the top Right now, I think official kind of fell out of that slot. You know, Jazz is inactive. Misfit is out there. She hasn't been battling a lot. So a lot of people are looking at Vixen, 40, and KCJ. So we're going to see who who is that top. I think you can throw Miss Hustle in there as well. So we're going to see who's that top, who's the top female battle rapper right now. I think there's a lot that needs to get figured out. Also, URL announced two events. Well, they announced two full cards. So we got a Smack Saturday card that's coming out. Oh, that's going to be live on Caffeine a week before Gnome Weekend. Um, and on that Smack Saturday card, we got Danny Myers versus Shotgun Shook, Quest McCordy versus Nun Nun, Prep versus Drugs, Danger Zone versus Prez Mafia, um, NXT versus Murder. And that's going to be on the Smack Saturday card um, a week before the two day event of, of Gnome 11. But I wanted to get into Gnome 11, man. I want to get into Gnome 11. When I seen the card at first, the first thing I said was, wow, too many battles. Then I found out that it's going to be a two-day event. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be five battles one day, five battles the next day. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, five battles on one day, five battles another day, which is dope. I like that. But it still doesn't feel like a gnome card to me, right? Um, This would be my gnome card, right? I understand you got to get the um the the the... the the Ultimate Madness 3 on the card. Okay, Gigi Gotti versus Rum Nitty. That's on the card. Tay Rock, Chilla Jones. I'm keeping that on the card. T-Rex versus Easy the Block Captain. That's a gnome event. T-Top versus Swamp. That's a gnome event. And I got to be honest, that's where it stopped. That's my gnome event for me. Those four battles. Tay Rock, Chilla Jones. Gigi Gotti, Rum Nitty. T-Rex, Easy the Block Captain. And, uh, and, and T-Top versus Swamp. No disrespect to none of those other battles, but to me, those are not those are night of main event battles. We have Till Chilla Jones and Tay Rock, top two. Tilla Jones is coming off a champion of the year, if I'm not mistaken, right? Tay Rock is one of the best doing it in the last what, four or five years. Am, am I correct with that? So that's a main event to me. Kichi Gotti, Rum Nitty, Ultimate Madness Three. Even if even if it's not Ultimate Madness Three, that's still a that's a that's a main event to me. Uh, T Rex versus Easy the Black Captain. A lot of build up with that battle. A lot of, you know, a lot of build up going on with that battle. That's the main event to me. Um, T Top versus Swamp. A lot of build up with that battle. That goes back to last year. A lot of build up with that. That's the that's the that's the main event to me. You know, J C versus Fonz. Danny Myers versus Real Sick. B Dot versus D N A. Uh, Loso versus Jerry West. Av versus Jada Nightwing. You know, they can definitely be dope battles, but they just feel like battles thrown together. There's nothing there. And I'm I'm a watch. So I hope they are dope battles. But there's nothing there like to be, you know, they don't they don't have the same 
they don't have the same uh you know build up as some of as those other apps those other those other those other apps those other battles that I pulled out from that car I pulled those those four battles I would pull those out and that's my norm for real that's my norm um you know so we will see we will see sometimes the names and the build up don't live up to the hype but you know you this is a this is a known right here this branding URL has branded URL two biggest events is known every single year is known and it's um some madness. So, you know, you know, I, I just you know, I understand the two day event thing. Um, you know, I get it, but you know, it just doesn't feel the card doesn't feel like a norm. If you take four of those battles out, the four battles that I named, I think those battles feel like a gnome, but um, you know, the whole card by itself, the whole two day event thing doesn't feel like a norm to me. You know, and it is what it is, to each his own. Not 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 too much nothing too much to say about this Smack Saturday card, um, you know, it seems like uh, Danny Meyer versus Shotgun was a battle that was supposed to happen a couple weeks ago. Um, it just seems like something something just something to something to stream, you know, something to you know just some battles to get in. Um, we haven't seen Danger Zone. I haven't seen Danger Zone and Press Mafia in a little while. It's dope to see that. I like the I like the matchup of Prep versus Drugs. I like that. Um, not a big fan of None None, but I haven't seen Quest McCordy in a while. I, you know, I like that. Danny Myers versus Shotgun Shook. You know, I like seeing Shotgun Shook. I'm not a super, super big Danny Myers fan. But every Shotgun Shook to me, I want to see him get back, um, you know, get back into his rare form, get back into the Shotgun Shook that we've known him to be over the years. So, you know, it's, it's stuff in there, but it does, it feels like just a, you know, just a card to put together. Um, let's get into Calico versus Hitman, man. It's interesting because Hitman just said, after the Cassidy battle, that he retired, and then yet now we see him versus Caligo on the same platform, uh, a month later, a, a month maybe almost less than two months later, right? I hope it's a dope battle. Cassidy versus Hitman was not, it was not a dope battle. A lot of build up, a lot of hype, a lot of views, but not a go, not a dope battle, not a dope battle, not a not a real rewatchable battle, to me at all. So I hope Caligo and Hitman. I hope it lives up to. It. I hope it. I hope the max out card. Has some, um, you know, has some, you know, has something, has some more dope battles on it, man. Because to me, I'm looking at this right. I mean, let's let's just call it what it is. URL is at the top spot. It is what it is. URL is at the top spot. If RBE puts out a dope max out two card, and it's and it's it's gonna get looked at with this gnome. It's gonna get looked at right along with this gnome um, eleven card. It's going to be directly compared to it. It is what it is. Um, so I think RB has a chance to RB has a chance to go up another notch in status if they put together another dope max out car, um, which is going to be it's going to be directly compared to this normal eleven car. It is what it is. It's battle rap. It is what it is. So as of right now, even with just the Calico versus Hitman Holla. You know, I'm more looking forward to Max Out 2 versus I'm looking forward to Normal 11. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, so, we'll, we're also going to see what's going to come out of Summer Madness. Um, I see a lot of things. I'm hearing things about RPE possibly bringing Lloyd Banks into the Battle Rap Arena. Rumors, 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 people. Rumors, rumors, rumors. But I'm hearing Lloyd Banks versus John John the Don. I don't, you know, I don't know how true that is. I don't even like saying it. But it's, you know, it's rumors, it's rumors, it's rumors, it's rumors. But... We will see, man. I don't know. Is it going to be on this Max Out card? I don't know, but it's just rumors, man. It's rumors, it's rumors, it's rumors, it's rumors. It is what it is. Um, whatever it is, I'm going to be here for it. I think it's going to be dope to see Lloyd Banks in the Battle Rap Arena. Whether he does good, it's going to be a spectacle nonetheless. I just want to see Lloyd Banks. Lloyd Banks just dropped the album, too. That's actually that's actually barred up. He barred he, every beat. He barred, every, barred that shit up. Um, you know, you know, the same, you know, those dark beats, he just barring that shit up for real. So it'd be dope to see Lloyd Banks on a, on a, on a, on a battle rap stage, you know, punchline, punchline after punchline after punchline. Um, also would like to see on the Summer Madness stage, I would like to see Conceited pop out. I don't care if it's versus a Rum Nitty. I don't care if it's versus a Cassidy. I don't care if it's, you know, if it's versus, if it's versus Av. You know what I mean? I don't care. Um, so, a lot of lot of battle rap to get into, a lot of battle rap to digest, a lot of stuff to review, 
uh, looks like the 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 the, um, the pandemic is 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 getting close to ending, so to speak. And you know we can have go back to having battle rap events, having fans at the events, and that's going to be interesting. Um, we can close out the the close the small room era, so to speak, the COVID era, whatever you want to call it, the caffeine era, whatever you want to call it, um, and get back to get back to having events. Um, with fans in the, in the in attendance, and see if battle rappers can make that adjustment of being in no nobody in a room versus having a room full of people reacting to everything and stuff like that. So it is what it is, man. Thank you guys for listening to another episode of the Hip Hop Slime Battle Rap Podcast. Um, please, please make sure you take care of our sponsor. Go to stashbeat.net and use the promo code Stash Slime and get ten percent off your entire Stash Me clothing order. Um, Stash Slime. It's the promo code StashB.net is the website. Um, Moreover, I'm out of here, man. Make sure you rate, subscribe, and review on whatever platform you listen to this podcast on. It'll be greatly, 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 greatly appreciated. Uh, Make sure you check out these battle rap events. I'm going to be live on Hip Hop Slime Twitter, talking my shit, talking my taste, doing what I like to do, you know, piping shit up, instigating, setting up battles, that, all that type of shit. So it is what it is, man. See you guys on the flip side. Um, I might I might do a recap of the Smack Saturday event. You know, we never know. So keep it close. Make sure you subscribe so you get that notification and all that. Yeah, but I'm out of here, man. See you guys next time.